I'm glad everything worked out. Good job, you two. How long's it been? A week now. I know. I'm still feeling all tingly about it, too. It'll wear off in six months or so. Why were you hiding her? You could have just 
told me. In retrospect, yeah. But there was a reason I couldn't tell you. If I told you that, I would have to tell you everything. Not to mention, Mizuki is my secret weapon. She's like my personal ninja. But Ryuki knew about BB, right? Yeah. I didn't want him to find out, but... He saw us. Mama and I were shopping at the supermarket. I told you not to call me that. Who cares? They already know. Mama, huh? Are you jealous, Mizuki? No, that's not it. He's gone. Don't let it eat at you forever. There was nothing you could have done. But... Why? Well... Isn't it obvious we were able to solve the case because I worked really, really hard? Oh, patting yourself on the back, huh? So uncool. Uncool. Not as uncool as your underwear. My underwear has nothing to do with it. And excuse you, my underwear is really cute. I want to see. Oh, grow up. I didn't mean it like that. It's just for my future reference. Don't worry about me. We've talked a lot over the last week. We stayed up in bed for hours talking. I wonder what she's doing about now. Well, I'll let it be. He's an AI ball, just like Aiba and Tama. He's shy, so he doesn't talk much. He opens up to me sometimes. He's just introverted. Oh, that. We weren't able to completely recover the memory, but... The days I spent with Aiba, we at least got that. That data has been re-uploaded and re-implemented. I now have memory of that time. I wanted to ask about my pay. This again? But... Well, I do have to praise you for a job well done. So, I have a special present for you both. A present? It was left at a special place. You should find it. A special place? Your friends should know what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're planning, but... I guess it's not a bad idea to see everyone again. Well then? Yeah, let's get going. Nice members, shady scientists, mafiosos. We really did bring in a huge haul. Good work, team. It's bad luck to throw out a Christmas tree early. Oh yeah? What happens? The ghost of Christmas past shows up and throws chestnuts at you. That's scary. I prefer globes. I can guess why. The model on this poster is kind of average, honestly. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. I'm cuter. Huh? Shoma, um... It's okay. You don't have to beat around the bush. I thought long and hard about how to feel about my sister. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sad. But I can't be down forever. 
I'm sure you know already, but she's at the detention center. I've gone to see her every day. With Genny, but we can't really talk much. She's always crying. Yeah. But her lawyer said that due to the circumstances, her sentence might not be too long. The person that Amame killed was trying to brainwash all of mankind. Some people even think she's a hero. I think about it a lot. Six years ago, my dad took Jin's body from the amusement park. If only I had noticed back then, maybe none of this would have happened. Have you heard of the multiverse theory? There are multiple universes. So that means there's a universe that's just like ours, but with a slightly different history. That's the idea. If that were true, maybe Dad is out there somewhere, in another universe. Yeah, that's what I think. Andy's Kumeji lives on happily somewhere. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, the number code? I know how to solve it. First, change the letters to numbers. A is one, B is two, C is three, and so on. Using that cipher. From there, Solve it the same way as the BATS 490 code. Zigzag from the top left and go from top to bottom. Oh. It's the same as before. Most unrang dig. Hora ints undig. The puzzle of the pieces of paper in the balloons was solved in a similar manner. 356778. One three nine seven one four five. What does that mean? The numbers start with thirty-five and one thirty-nine, right? Which means they're probably coordinates in Tokyo. So, in other words, north thirty-five point six seven seven eight, east one thirty-nine point seven one four five. That's the answer. Those coordinates point the stadium. So the Nirvana X code is on February fifteenth, twelve o'clock. Come to the stadium. That was the message. Yep, that's right. Boss? No, I haven't. Hmm. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to continue to live my life with Big Sis. I'm going to work hard to become a robot developer, and I'll continue to support her until the day someone else who can comes along. I'm rooting for you. Good luck. Kenny. You opened back up, huh? Yeah, I can't let this affect me forever. that Mame killed Uru, didn't you? Are you going to arrest me? For cooperating with a murderer? I can't. It's not a crime just to know. Unless you actively try to protect them. In the end, I couldn't protect her. It's frustrating feeling so powerless. And I know not everyone will want to hear this, but I don't even think Amame should have been arrested. Her actions were totally justifiable. Her father was killed in such a brutal way. Not to mention Terror was planning a genocide. What's wrong with killing a person like that? I can't believe she's being punished for it. After you took Amame, Shoma and I stayed with Ryuki at the house. The bomb squad came and started to inspect the thermite bomb. And that's when we got a call. Ryuki was told that the Nirvana Initiative was going to take place at the stadium. From there, he must have made a plan. In order to prevent the spread of TC Purge, we needed to burn it. So, we grabbed the thermite bomb, punched our way through the bomb squad, and headed to the stadium. Oh, uh, she had a message for you. Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light. Ah. 
I don't understand it, but that's what she told me to tell you. Horizontal is darkness multiplied by light, huh? I will continue to wait for Amame until the day she sits in that seat and smiles at me. She would be sad if she came back and the place was all run down. So I'm going to work hard to keep this place running. Date, Date, Date. Well, Date's been like this all week. I see. I was eating at Matsushita Diner. Out of nowhere, Ota rushed in and said, We're going to save humanity! And well, I thought that sounded kind of fun. Fun. Oh, um, yeah. Vertical is male multiplied by female. I don't know what that means, but that's what she said. Vertical is male multiplied by female? Sounds meow right erotic. Is that the only thing you think about? What is it? Oh, nothing. Meow. Meow, meow. I have permission to shoot. Granted. If that were the case, I wouldn't be here, meow. You know the Nirvana trial code? Everyone who solved it is being quarantined right now. A vaccine has been developed. Quarantining procedures should adequately solve the problem. Any damaged neurons in the brain should be repairable with nanomachines. However, such a treatment is not simple or easy. If the rocket had launched, the country's health infrastructure would have collapsed and caused complete chaos. Anyway, it's one big happy ending. Yeah. I think we're interrupting something here. You're not interrupting anything. Yeah. Uh, let's go, BB. Yeah, good idea. Hmm. Are there any bugs? Oh, Mizuki. Quartz. How are you? Can you not call me that? Ah, oh, come on. You used to like that name. <laughs> we cancelled. Why? My father... Accepted our relationship. Seriously? You know how the press began to report on our deeds at the stadium? We agreed to some interviews. And that's where we just came out and said it. Izzy and I are together. And so, my father can no longer deny our relationship. The two of them were partially responsible for saving humanity. There's no way he could force them to break up now. I'm happy for you. Congrats, you two. Yeah, thanks to you both. I am very grateful. Oh, what I was shooting at the stadium? It was loaded with rubber bullets. I could never intentionally kill someone. You're so nice, Gizzy. <laughs> Yes, I did hear something. She wanted me to tell you. Light is 
Hmm. Huh? Why do you ask? I'm just curious. Late that night, I went to the basement of Horadori Institute with quartz. But there was nothing there. It was just an empty space. The slicer was hidden under the floor, and there was no door going to Uru's room. There might have been a way in, but we didn't have time to look. Yeah. Right after we got down there, we heard footsteps. We ran out of Horridori Institute after getting up the stairs. Ah, uh, that. I contacted Leon. I thought he could help. And Kizuno was listening in on the conversation. So... Yes. I asked if there was any way I could help. We will put an end to Terra's plan. I could not simply stay put there. Considering the circumstances, it makes sense that Leon wouldn't decline. Thwarting Terror's plan, I am sure he wanted Kizuna present to witness his heroism. I started to think of a plan. I wanted to take Kizzy there, but she had to be safe, no matter what. And that's when I remember the armored vehicle. I knew it was at the Kumakuras, so I called Moma and asked if I could borrow it. Moma said, Sounds like fun. How about I tag along? And as for who's driving, I know a guy. That explains Ota. I see. Well, we need to get going now. See you later. Goodbye, little big sis and big big sis. You're gonna stick with that, huh? Look, Mizuki! I finally have an Orichalcum Trident! Thanks for your business! Oh, right. You own this place. Thanks, chump! <sighs> Don't you do like a friend discount? <laughs> nope. That's not fair, Mizuki. I always give you free food at the Matsushita Diner, don't I? Yeah, free pickles. Cheapskate. This might make you kinda angry, but I think Mame is a hero. Think about it. Uru, the culprit of the HB case, brutally killed three people. Not to mention he tried to brainwash all of mankind, and Mame punished that evildoer. I can't condemn her for that. What is it, Mizuki? Well, I don't mean to defend what Uru did, but he was held captive underground since the age of six. They took half his organs from him, forcibly. When you take that into account... Perhaps Chikara was the worst person. Here's the way I see it. Evil is created from a greater evil. It is our mission to destroy the root of all evil. Doesn't look like our mission's gonna end anytime soon. It's a long story, so I'll cut right to it. So there we were. Ota, Iris, Kizzy, Moma, and Leon, right? And we saw those three being held up by the riot police. Or, I guess, those four. Ryuki, Geni, Shoma, and Roboji. They said they were headed to the stadium, too. So we let them hop in the back. Then we drove right through the barricade and saved the day. Yeah, she gave me a message for you. Female is 6.607. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean, but there it is. What could that mean? For now. We got the info, so let's go somewhere else. Yeah, good idea. Wow, you surprised me. Mizuki, what are you doing here? I own the place. 
Really? What are you doing here? Well, uh, I wanted to investigate the day-to-day -day lives of young women. As an inspector? I need to know what's in. It's an important part of being an inspector. I feel like I said this before. Oh, you don't have to say it. His name is Sutsugumushi. No! Hey, stop it! It's rude to ask someone their name so many times. Encantado de conocerte. Me llamo Kaga. Me gustan las tetas grandes. His name was... I recall it was six letters. It began with Ka. Six letter Ka. I know. Your name is... Kanaiza! That's enough. Have mercy. Hmm. You don't recognize moi? I recognize you very well. You're the lady from Lendescape. Me? <laughs> I am but a humble taxi driver. I visit there often to escort the talent. I am a customer. The old hag at Matsushita Diner told me about this place. Hey, that's my mom! Oh, is that right? Mm, the old hag recently concluded a job interview here. Stop calling her an old hag! Hold up! Job interview? Indeed! As a mermaid? That would be the case. Mom. Oh, that perky mermaid tushy. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. It's chaos in here. I need to change that soon. We've been using the same picture for a while to cut costs. Ota, can you get in there? Why? I'm gonna stab you with the trident. You sound like you would actually do it. What's up with your voice? It's a vochlojo. Vochocho? It stands for Voice Changing Lock Choker. I borrowed it from MoMA six years ago, but I don't use it anymore, so I returned it. Awful honorable of you. Never thought I'd get it back. I was checking some job hunting websites and I saw this place, so now I work here Fridays. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. I'm still working at Lemniscate. But they won't make me full time ever. Isn't that right, Miss President? Oh, sorry. I don't handle the personnel stuff. Um, making tea, answering the phone, slicking up the gats. So old school. Did I hear something about oil and guns? She's also in charge of puff puffing. What? What is that? Eh, no reason. Just fucking around with it. He was saying, Mama, I love you. Marry me. Gag. Jinpei, get your knife ready. You're cutting off your finger. N no. What? Why would I do that? Just look at BB. Her outfit is in shambles. They want to buy her new clothes. Please. Leave me alone. I like my clothes. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? That made me cry. Beautiful sisterly love. Hey, you guys are all right. Take that ball the dragon is holding. It's solid gold. Uh, I can't take that. Don't worry about it. Quartz made me a hell of a lot of cash back in the day. Stop calling me that. Hey, Mizuki, did you just take the ball? I don't know what you're talking about. 
Yeah, that boss lady sent word. She told me you two'd be coming. She said to tell you this. Darkness is 5.479. I have no idea what it means. Roger that. The usual. Please, no. All right, Loma. Can you close your eyes for me? <laughs> Got it. Like this? Now, hold still. Okay. Ritsu, come on. Hiya! Yeah. salvaging this from being the most perverted thing I have ever seen. No, I think the voice makes it worse. Let's go, B. Please, let's. Wow. Wow! So soft. So you two are sisters, huh? It makes sense and all, but boy, is it ever surprising. Mamoru? Why, who are you guys? You know me? Weren't you Tokiko's secretary and bodyguard? Yeah, I was. And then this happened and I got fired. The Subversive Activities Prevention Act shut Nye's down for good. Which gives me more time for day drinking. Shut up! You don't get to say if I'm drunk enough or not. I'm a heavyweight. Leave me alone. You're a lightweight emotionally. What? What did you say? Hey, Mamoru, honey. Maybe you're right. My heart can't take it. I drink so I don't have to face reality sober. I saw the president's body. That image is burned into my mind. I can't unsee it. How pathetic is that? It's okay, Mamoru. Everyone has a weakness. I think humans are one of the weakest animals. We aren't covered in thick fur. We don't have hides. We can't take heat. We can't take cold. Even the littlest tree branch can scratch us and make us bleed. Really... We're the only animals like that. How did we even make it this far as a species? I think it's because we're weak. Our weakness forced us to work together. We made tools, hunted, and fought in packs. That's how we survived. If humans were strong independently, things would have been different. We might not have made it. We could have gone extinct like Neanderthals. So you're saying our weakness is central to who we are? Our weaknesses mean that we have to support each other and put aside our differences. Yeah, that's why I'll never tolerate people who oppress others. Humanity is rooted in weakness. To deny that is like denying humanity as a whole. But the sad thing is there are so many people who do, and it ends up hurting others. LGBTQ plus people, people with disabilities, people persecuted because of their race or religion. 
If I had wings, I'd fly around the whole world, give all those people a hug, and tell them it's gonna be okay. And then grab my iron pipe and beat the crap out of those bastards who tormented them. I'll defend and protect minorities everywhere. I'm not gonna let any kind of backwards thinking, macho, prejudicial bullshit slide. I love it. Let me give you eight million yen. Mom, I have more and more boobs. No, oh, I meant to say more booze. He seems to be getting extremely emotional. Not that you could tell by the way he looked. You're already drinking a cream soda. No, not this drink. No alcohol for you. You're only 18. I'm good then, right? I'm 24. Nope. I know you came here on your motorbike. Have some Alfrey instead. <laughs> you solved the case already, but you're still hungry for more, hmm? Well, I do have some very valuable information. Six years ago, on February 15th, Uru contacted So Sejima, the former politician. Why do you suppose he did that? Because So was his father. An illegitimate love child. She took the baby to Ireland, then committed suicide. Oh. Well, it's just a rumor. There's no proof. But that would explain a lot, wouldn't it? I'm guessing Uru wanted to meet him. The man who threw him and his mother away like garbage. That was where his tragedy began, after all. If so hadn't neglected them, Uru never would have been given up for adoption. I don't know. He's not at his manor. He disappeared about two weeks ago. Maybe he fled the country. Fled the country? Why? He's a cunning old man. I'm sure he sensed something coming. He must have thought the authorities would eventually connect him to terror. So, he decided to leave before it was too late. Boss as in your boss? I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Boss left us a present somewhere, but we don't know where it is. She said something about asking our friend. I see. And then why don't I ask the mighty Milky Balls? Yeah, good idea. Okay then, Milky White Orbs of Power. Who among their friends and acquaintances has the biggest you-know-what? That is, Lynn, of course. Who cares? That's what I thought. Hmm? We'll put that aside for now. Can we put it aside forever? Okay. Time to get serious now. Oh, balls, the great and powerful. Please find something for me. Where is the present that boss has hidden? Go to Nye. The hidden secret can be found there. So, how about it? Go to Nye. The secret is there? That has nothing to do with boss's task. I am sure Mama is only stringing together random thoughts. But... Mama, we're gonna get going. Already? I wanted to talk more about Lian's you-know-what. We'll save that for some other time. Oh, sure thing. Come back again whenever. I'll be waiting. Mr. Chieda, nice to see you. Oh, Mizuki Kuranushi. Please, don't call me that. I'm supposed to be called Big Sis. It would be a little strange to call you that. Do you remember me too? Of course I do. You were only three when the Okiura family took you in. I never thought that girl was really you. Both of you have grown so much. You two used to cry and cry. Now you're both police officers. I'm proud that you've grown up to be such good people.
Yes, that was me. I didn't have proof, but I suspected that they were doing morally questionable research there, and that you two were subject to it. I wasn't ignoring the signs. I only noticed it a few years after you two came here. They acted on it right away, and went straight to the police. They told me they couldn't do anything without proof, so I leaked the information to the press, which led to the Institute being closed. I did it for the two of you. But didn't you help it reopen? I'm having trouble following your logic. Yes, that. I spoke to your cohort, Ryuki, about this. Human experimentation is intolerable. But the other research being done at Horidori Institute was extremely valuable and had a bright future. There were many hardworking people there that had nothing to do with what was happening behind the scene. And at that point, the two of you were no longer affiliated with Horidori Institute, which is why I provided the money for the reopening. I did it so I could keep an eye on them and prevent them from continuing their illicit research. You don't know? It's called PURGE, DNA treatment. This is not the same as TC Purge, of course. TC Purge was a virus that was created using Purge technology. Even now, I don't think financing Horidori Institute was a mistake. They were able to create the technology for Purge. That technology can save countless lives, including yours. What? With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat. For example, severe congenital heart diseases are now curable. Baby, that's great news! Your illness can be cured! Oh, good. What is it? Well, it's just so much to process. <laughs> I'm happy for you, BB. Yeah. Mr. Chieda, thank you. Please, don't ask me about that. I've already told Kizuna everything. I guess he doesn't want to talk about their relationship. Guess not. Your adoptive mother. She gave me a message. Male is 5.4. Mr. Chieda, we're going to get going now. Come back again soon. And please, continue to keep an eye on Kizuna. We will. Yeah, of course. You were both bundles of energy, I'll tell you that much. You ripped the swing right off its chains. And Mizuki, you tore the pipes off the jungle gym and played Cat's Cradle with them. Whenever you did something bad, myself and the other staff scolded you. You would both cry and literally run through walls. I'm sure you can still see the damage in some of them, but whatever you did, no one was upset with you. After you cried, you would both have such bright smiles, it made everyone else smile too. <laughs> Sounds like us. Yes, I remember them well. Your smiles haven't changed a bit. Uh, yeah. I wonder, I kinda just... wanted to be here. Screw it. This is my last chance. I want some more screen time! Wh what are you talking about? Mom! Mom, are you watching? Look at me! Maybe she's contracted TC Purge. We should let the authorities know. You two used to play make-believe in that castle all the time. Who is king? Me or Bibi? You two always fought over it. You split your kingdom up. Mizuki, you were only three. But you never gave up being king. Oh, I don't even know how many times that castle was destroyed. But it never destroyed your relationship. Even after your kingdom was split, you were back together playing in no time. The top of the tree. I remember thinking that was the tallest place in the world. I remember climbing it with you on my back. That sounds dangerous. What if I fell? You did. Plenty of times. But you were never seriously injured. Just last week, you might have even survived without a parachute. I remember always pulling that thing out of the ground.
It's still bothering me. I know what you're thinking. What Mama said, right? Go to Nyes. The hidden secret can be found there. Well, what's the last secret? I guess the only thing left is Tokiko. Why did she kill herself? Why did she order Amame to do those things? 